Now, dualism is a set of views about the relationship between the mind and matter, which begins with the claim that mental phenomena are in some respects non-physical. Dualism claims that we have a brain, but that the mind is not part of the physical world. Dualism is closely associated with the philosophy of Rene Descartes from the 1600s, who thought that the soul was in the pineal gland. Often, dualism is claimed to disprove physicalism. Now, trivially, this is true um, since we are having a first-person experience of our consciousness, and since science needs to explain things in the third person or objectively, it seems like these are two distinctly different types of things, and we're going to possibly have to come up with a new way of looking at this. So this creates some very important arguments against physicalism, and hence um, in favor of some form of dualism. First, the idea that the mental and the physical seem to have quite different properties, and they might be totally irreconcilable with one another. Um, there's the fact that the qualia are left out. Qualia is something that that um, the philosophers use to describe these first-person experiences we're having, how something is red, how something feels rough, the, the experience we have in our mind when we, when we touch and we taste things. Um, anyway, every, every theory of the mind we have up to this point seems to leave out the qualia or does, leaves it unexplained in some way. And then, in science, there's, there's the idea of reductionism. Everything has to be reduced to ex an explanation that's made up of its component parts. And it seems difficult for us to understand how we might be able to reduce consciousness. In fact, um, it may be resistant to reduction. And that would be a problem in explaining consciousness scientifically. There's two other large arguments which I'm going to, um, are very interesting arguments and lead to a lot of uh, good thoughts. Um, the, there's the Mary's Room um, thought experiment, and there's the zombie argument. Um, I have these in, uh, they're going to be in later videos. Now, dualism comes in several flavors. It's worth noting two of these, substance dualism and property dualism. Substance dualism is the idea that there's a mental substance, and it's a totally separate thing from matter. Property dualism is a weaker form of substance dualism. It's the idea that the mind is a separate property of the brain, but it's not separable. Now, with dualism, the question always remains, how does the brain and the mind interact? One way to examine the problem is to look at a chart here called a state diagram. You'll notice that there's blue bubbles. Uh, this is, uh, the P represents the physical brain, and there's the orange bubbles, um, M, which represents the mental activity. Well, the different ways of looking at dualism, uh, there's interactionist dualism. That's where the physical brain state causes the mental state. Then the mental state goes back and causes the physical state. And this goes on and on and on, and this is how we experience consciousness and how our brain continues to function on the physical level. But there's different ways to look at the problem. Some dualists adhere to an idea called parallelism. That's where the physical brain perks along here, doing its, uh, it's going from state to state, and the mind goes along paralleling the physical. I don't think much about this one. I don't see why um, why you would have the mental going along with the physical and not, the not interacting in any way. It seems like nature is always more efficient than this. But this is a major um, philosophical point of view. I'm not sure how many adherents it has at this point. Epiphenomenalism is about a one-way causal interaction. It sees mental states as being the byproducts of brain states. But the mental states are not causing and don't have any effect on the brain states. This diagram represents the, the relationship very nicely. According to epiphenomenalism, the physical, the brain state, is the causal factor, but the mental states just go along for the ride. 